Hey, gorgeous ones, this is take two. It's Ingrid Arna here, seven figure diva strategist and transformational teacher. And I'm about to shoot some student uh, interviews about their journey working with me. I don't know if it looks good with one small earring and one long earring. Anyway, let me know. And I wanted to share with you, sometimes I sort of hold back. I'm, I often obviously want to talk about my client and student wins. I had a beautiful client of mine. I knew just do $200,000 in her webinar a few weeks ago. Uh, and sometimes I talk about myself and of course and my journey and ascension and going from selling $100 sessions, being completely broke and then building my divine empire. And then sometimes I kind of hold back a little bit. I'm gonna be honest about the money that I'm making because I don't wanna kind of come off, I suppose, that I'm gloating. But I've decided to leave that outside the door because really at the end of the day, I stand for the political, social, financial power of all women. It's time to remove the shame and guilt around uh, receiving money, making money, standing in our power, owning our voices. <clears throat> Which leads me to something I want to share with you today. A couple of weeks ago, I did two webinars and I sold over $200,000. Thank you, I love my class too. I sold over $200,000 US of uh, programs. And I've done that many, many times, <clears throat> over and over again. And I teach it in my course in High End Empire. I have a few different levels with High End Empire. I have a diva mind that comes with lots of live support. And then I also have a digital program. So in my first webinar, I sold 12 spots at $12,000 a month at that time for a divine one year immersion in my diva mind that teaches women how to monetize their brilliance. And in the second webinar, I changed the tactic and instead of, I did the same content, but when I went to sell, I sold my uh, digital version of High End Empire for 2,500 US. And a really interesting thing happened there. We started selling that program uh, without me even pitching. So as I was, uh, teaching and giving and sharing my message, sharing really valuable, beautiful content, uh, people started buying. So what I did was I had a video, I had my chat box as I was doing my live training, and then I had a big button under my training, so there was a place for people to go to purchase, and they started buying, and that's never happened before. It was a lower price haven, as I have for one. It was a lower priced product. So, you know, people weren't needing to get on calls to make that decision. Um, and But I will tell you that repeatedly over and over again, I've sold like one webinar I did, I sold uh, 40 spots at $7,000 and I think we did two sales calls. So that means that m the majority of those people, 36 out of the 38 for that webinar, bought directly from the webinar. And I recently heard some marketing strategists say to one of my students that <clears throat> there's only a few people that are really skilled to be able to do that and I'm one of them. So that was a beautiful quote and beautiful testimonial to some degree. But I don't actually believe that that's true. I think this is a skill uh, that anyone can learn and master. And what I see a lot, hey, gorgeous Lakshmi, um, in the marketplace is wonderful other strategists and teachers and you've got the Russell Brunsons and all these people teaching. Um, that's great, but what I feel is missing, and it's where I come into play, and it's a point of difference, is that a lot of these people teaching how to monetize webinars aren't going enough into the ad strategy that's needed, the real capital expenditure that is needed um, in order to do these, these, these sorts of numbers, and then also the psychology and the presence and the power that is needed to ensure that people get out of their own way, hey Emma, and make a decision to invest in themselves. Because at the end of the day, yes, they're investing in you, but they're also really at the end of the day investing in themselves. So some of you may know this, but I'm gonna break a few things down. One thing that really helps me to invite people in is I use what I call my resonance for riches and my presence and my divinity to sell. I use my voice. I give, 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 and invite people to make a decision, right? A powerful decision. 
I don't sit there uh, holding back, worried about what people are going to think of me. I am incredibly generous, but then I make a considerable conscious <laughs> kind of invitation to, you know, I can give and give and give and give. At the end of the day, if you want to radically transform, if you want consistent clients, if you want to get out of your own way and really elevate yourself, you're going to need support and you're going to need someone who's really uh, a leader in their game. So whilst I, I give a lot of content, I also clearly articulate the value that I bring to the table and I use this energy of mine in a very deliberate way to invite people into making that powerful choice. So <clears throat> there's a whole strategy that I've created and a process around that. Uh, you've really got to understand your audience. You've got to understand human psychology. Uh, you've got to understand that most people are living in a state of chronic fear. People have been ripped off by other coaches who don't deliver on their word. They've been burnt and you've got to speak to all of that. And I could go into this for like three hours straight right now and I've got training on this. So if anyone wants training on this, then <clears throat> reach out to me. I have webinar training called Seven Figure Diva webinar. Anyway, I'm going to be teaching this also in New York coming up um, in a live event as well and some live events in Australia where we're going to do the Seven Figure uh, webinar funnel over a weekend. So I cannot wait. So if you're interested in that, just post below or pr private message me. My husband's looking at me going, I don't want you going to New York this year. So I think I'll stay in Australia this year, but I'll definitely be doing it in New York next year. Um, now, having said that, I just want to give you a little bit of a quick breakdown before I go and do these interviews doing some client case studies, uh, is that I, uh, for a webinar, obviously it's not just through that webinar that you're selling, you're selling through all the ads that you have following up, the email sequences, your nurture sequences and all of that, but also what are you doing before people even get to the webinar, right? So in all fairness and honesty, hey, I'm amazing Devon, hey gorgeous, she's just been doing so well and Devon's a branding expert, she's ramping it up selling and serving. Um, so to do the, the 200 grand of, uh, that I did, um, and even the first webinar that I did, which was about 134,000, I actually spent, it would have looked like, oh, I only spent 6,000. If you looked at the month prior to, or the 10 days leading up to, I think I spent about 6,000 US or so. I think, it, no, actually it wasn't, it was 6,000 Australian. Uh, and the dollars that I'm quoting are in US. So I spent about 6,000 AUD. 10 days prior. But what a lot of strategists and business level of mastery around being able to sell a product and a program at that level. So I, if you look at the numbers that I actually spent, it was about 22,000 AUD over a four month period. And then I sold those spots within a matter of days at the $12,000 price point. <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> still getting over a cold. Then the second webinar, I spent about five to 6,000 again, maybe even up to 10,000, I can't remember exactly now. Uh, it could have been around 10,000 actually, Australian, and I did another 100,000. And we've still been selling from that, from that kind of um, buzz, from the content that we did, uh, we did really, really well. I was really happy with the content we, that we produced for um, my Seven Figure Diva webinar. So um, in total, then we would have spent
and to work for some of the best people out there, work with very many, many like seven figure uh, coaches um, who I go in and kind of tweak everything because it's not flowing. Uh, the copy isn't flowing. And if you don't have your message on fire and understand your audience deeply, and you're not you know, prepared to be bold, take risks and be provocative and have really deep conversations with people, you're not gonna sell like this, okay? So, um, but if you get those pieces into play and you get out of your own way and learn how to hold presence and power in your voice and lead people into a powerful decision and then have the ethics and the integrity and the quality of excellence in your product, you have a license to grow a very strong company rapidly. If some of what you're saying is either going But I think that you need both strategy um, and also the emotional um, ability, presence and sales ability uh, and branding in order to really deeply pull this off. Uh, and then once you master it, you, it's just repetition, isn't it? Like you master a new, a new skill and it just becomes easier and easier and easier as you do it and you perfect it and you perfect it and perfect it exactly as I have. I think when I did my first webinar, I didn't um, even pitch because I was so scared <laughs> about what people were gonna think of me. Another mistake is people mostly think that if you best, you've got to take up that space and communicate what it is you do and the power of your